Hey YouTube, Miles here. Uh, this is a part two video for the Haswell Hackintosh. You can see it uh, from last week. Uh, and uh, this is a benchmark video. So we're going to run two benchmarks today, which are Geekbench and Cinebench, uh, the two benches. So um, just a uh, short video, stuff we couldn't cover. Uh, so here we go. Okay guys, so we're going to start up Geekbench now tryout mode, of course. And here we go. It's correctly identified us. We're using the uh, Mac Pro 3.1 SM BIOS with, an, with the i7-4770K. 16 gigs of RAM all registered, and so, so is the operating system. So, we are going to... can't run the 64-bit benchmark, so we'll run the 32 right now. Black skull. Body. So we now have a multi-core score of 13,354. So that is pretty good for a Hackintosh, and that's, you know, I've been getting scores of about 11,000 um, on, on, on the previous model, the Ivy Bridge model, so it's good to know we upped it a little bit. Um, you know, here's like that thing, this list, and um, I'll be happy to post the, uh, the link to these results in the YouTube description. Okay guys, so we're going to go into Cinebench right now, Cinebench OS X R15, and we're going to start off with an OpenGL uh, test here, primarily on the graphics card's rendering capabilities, and I really, really, really hope that they kept the car chase in here. So let's run it and see. Here it is. Here it is. The car chase. Awesome. Damn. Oh, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Oh, 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 it's about to get freaky. There it is. Oh, he blew up. Look at these scores. Uh, four cores, eight threads at 3.69 gigahertz. The graphics card is actually benching at a complete, like, composite score of 97.15, which is totally above all these Quadro machines, these workstation le uh, level graphics cards, and also above the uh, 460 and the ATIs. Um, be good. To, it'd be interesting to see, um, you know, what the other uh, GTX 7, 700 series are benching like. Um, okay, so next thing we're going to do is stress test the CPU. So, I'm going to hit run right now, and it'll perform this render test. Okay, so, um, that is now benching. Okay, so you can see here on the list that this is doing, that our result is somewhere in a middle ground between an overclocked 4770K and um, our standard, a, a standard Ivy Bridge 3770. Since we're running at 3.69 gigahertz here, um, we've scored a, a composite score of 747, um, whereas an overclocked CPU is obviously going to be a little bit better than that. Um, and Intel Core 3930K, obviously the, uh, the socket 2011 is scoring a lot better than that, and then a server class Xeon here at the very top. Um, but I am happy with this result. Uh, it's good, uh, good to have a middle ground, and it's good that it's, you know, we're only, we're only losing a tiny bit, of, a tiny bit uh, from not overclocking our CPU. And that concludes our Cinebench and Geekbenching, um, and pretty much concludes everything else with this build. Um, if there are any more questions, and obviously if we make any updates to the build, I'll be sure to uh, post video, let you know. Um, in the meantime, ask any questions here or on the previous video, um, and yeah, and expect some new stuff soon. So thanks very much for watching, and see you soon.